Well, hello there. Eric Griffith here with Mobile Tech Services here in Mobile Tech Studio B, and I have an awesome solution for you today to talk about with Google Classroom. This solution is called Grade Categories. So let me pose a question to you. Have you ever been in a situation where you've had two or three students come to you and say, why is this homework worth 100 points and your last 23 other homeworks are only worth 10 points? Huh? Why? Why? And you'd love to tell them the truth. Grey's Anatomy was on last night, and it was a McSteamy and a McDreamy episode, and you just didn't have time to focus about point values. Sure, telling them the truth probably wouldn't be professional, but you do what everybody else does, and you say, you know what, I heard other teachers are having a problem with it. I think it's a Google thing. Sound familiar? Maybe that G in Google also stands for GOAT as in scapegoat, right? Well, no more. Google has created a solution to help us remember how to create uh, the correct point value every single time with something called grade categories, okay? So how grade categories works is it turns on a drop-down menu of predetermined categories that you yourself define for each classroom, all right? So that's the rule is you have to create these grade categories for every one of your classroom. You can't just do it once and then it's like this in all of your classrooms. You have to do it every single classroom, okay? So it should be one of those checklist items whenever you create a new Google Classroom uh, at the start of the school year, at the start of the semester, quarter, whenever you start new classrooms, all right? So I have the instructions over here if you've been not listening to me and reading the instructions and I already jumped ahead look at you. If not, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like on my teacher Google Classroom, right? So this is what it normally looks like, right? When you log in, it says point value and it's always 100 by default, okay? So what I want to do is go ahead and set up these grade categories. What we do for that is right here at the top, we're going to go up to our Google Classroom and click that gear. As soon as we click the gear, we're going to scroll all the way down to the grading section. All right, right here it says overall grade calculation, and you can actually change some other things, providing your students with the total point value, or you can have them weighted by category. But what I'm gonna focus on today is this option right over here, which says grade category or add a grade category. I'm gonna go ahead and click add, and we'll create our first one. We'll call it test. And we'll make the test worth uh, 40 points, okay? Then we'll click add category again, We'll make this one a quiz, and we'll make quizzes worth 20 points. And then we'll go back and add another grade category. We'll call this in-class work, and we'll make in-class work uh, about 10 points. And then we'll call uh, this one homework. And then we'll go back and fix the uh, K and work there, right? And we'll make homework also 10 points. Okay, so now that we've got all of our categories entered, we definitely have to go up to the top of the screen, top right corner, and if we zoom out and zoom in a little bit here, you then have to push the save button. If you don't, all your efforts are for nothing. All right, so go ahead and push that save button. Now that this is saved, let's go back to our classwork tab, and then let's go ahead and hit create and create an assignment, and now we have this grade category option there. So still, the points are 100 by default and no category is set by default, but if I choose a test, boom, it changes those point values to 40, quizzes are 20, in-class work is 10, same with homework, okay? So it doesn't do it for you automatically, but it's another stepping stone in the remembering process and another way not to have those students constantly remind us that we messed up and forgot to add those categories. Or even worse, a parent comes and asks you, why is this quiz worth 100 points? And so on, all right? So if this tip or trick helped you out, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, give me a uh, like and a subscribe, and do me a favor and share this with another teacher if you think it'd be beneficial for them. Lastly, I hope that you have a griftastic day. Thanks.